Hello folks. By default, the content of each topic is included in all builds when the documentation is generated. Help and Doc gives you the option of defining rules to include selected sections of topics in specific outputs. Defining these rules is simple. You don't need to be a programmer. Help and Doc provides a user-friendly way to define and insert the rules. The rules contain if, else, and n logic statements that outline the conditions for including specific sections in selected builds. Help and Doc then uses these instructions when generating documentation. To begin with, place your cursor at the location within the topic where you'd like to insert the rule. Then click the Insert Edit Condition button in the Items group on the Insert Ribbon tab. This opens the Insert Conditional Operation window. You'll use this window to define the conditions to instruct Help and Doc in whether to include sections of the topic in build outputs when publishing the documentation. You begin by inserting either an if or if not statement. If includes the build tag selected, while if not excludes the build tag selected. Now, in the current build tags include box, Click the checkbox for each appropriate build tag. This displays a check mark indicating the tag is active. Click a check mark to deactivate the tag. Click OK to save the rule and close the window. This returns you to the topic editor where the if or if not rule you just defined is displayed. Now, place your cursor below the end of the section that should be included in that rule. Click the Insert Edit Condition button once again to display the Insert Conditional Operation window. Next, you have the option to insert an else statement to create an additional condition. When you insert an else rule, content defined after an else statement will be included only if the previous if statement is false. For example, if the if rule applies only to the first version of your product, you could define an else rule that applies to all other versions of the product. Click else and then click OK to close the window. This now displays the else rule in your topic editor. Lastly, you'll need to complete the rule. To do this, place your cursor below the end of the section that is to be included in the else rule. You'll need to do this regardless of whether you defined an else rule or not. Click the Insert End Condition button again to access the Insert Condition Operation window. Then click the End Operation and click OK to save the rule and close the window. This inserts End in your topic, terminating the rule defined above. All content following the end statement is included in all outputs. If only one condition applies, an else statement is not required. Instead, you'll insert only an if or if not rule and an end statement. To edit existing conditional content generation rules, highlight the rule that you'd like to update. Then click Insert Edit Condition to access the Insert Condition Operation window. Follow the steps outlined in this video to update the selected rule. By defining conditional content generation within your topics, you can easily generate multiple variations of your documentation for various clients, licenses, versions, kinds of users, and so on. In addition to conditional topic generation, Help and Doc provides a great flexibility in generating multiple versions of the same documentation. Help and Doc is free for personal use and evaluation purposes. You can download it at helpanddoc.com and see other video guides at helpanddoc.com/online-help. Thanks for watching.